at Lake Park Elementary, Sarah Bratcher's fifth grade English language arts classes are singing along to learn through song with her best practice of raising leaders through songs in public speaking. By using songs and acronyms, she's getting the material stuck in their heads, creating a positive mindset while enhancing learning. It's a new day in our classroom. Smile so bright, we're coming at you. Yeah, we're dreaming and achieving, embracing the daily ride. We are leaders working together Take some risks, let's be bold, do it for one another. We got each other, we are students of the future, future in room 104. We are so fresh, super focus and respect. Maintain eye contact, stand to speak, and don't forget your hands to complete. Let me hear it. Future! We are the future! We are the future, future, future! We are the future! We are the future! So I use songs and chants in my classroom, whether it be to teach content or motivate my students, celebrate successes, morning songs, whatever it might be. The second part of my practice that I use is um, I have my students stand to speak. We have an acronym in our classroom called FRESH. Uh, super focus, respect, maintain eye contact, stand to speak, and don't forget your hands to complete. I use that in my classroom because I really want to teach my students how to be leaders. Um, it's such a pivotal year before they go to middle school, and I think it's a lifelong skill that they'll use um, no matter what profession they pick later in life. Um, and I really started using it in my classroom because I struggled as a student growing up with retaining information. She is just one of the best teachers I've ever had. I really think that her learning style just keeps me engaged and I want to go to her class every day. It's not like I don't want to, I really do want to go to her class. And she really speaks to my heart and not only does she inspire me as a student but also as like a person. I think that Mrs. Bratcher's best practices of raising leaders through singing is super creative and clever and fun. It's really enthusiastic. It brings the kids together every morning through their morning song, and then they have a mistake song that my son actually walks around the house singing. Um, I think it's great for every kid. It kind of doesn't really matter what sort of student you are, or what your personality is. The whole class gets together um, you know, to sing and do these rap battles. By using the FRESH acronym approach that teaches focus, respect, eye contact, standing to speak, and using hands while speaking, she's building strong leaders and lifelong learners, all while cultivating a positive mindset that encourages continued development. They are with our children basically more than we are, and they are forming these little ones to become leaders of our country, to be strong and proud, and we really need to thank them and recognize them more often because they do so much in the classroom for all of our children. I think it's important that we thank our teachers because um, they are, to me, they're a big part in our life and well, especially Ms. Bratcher, they do a lot of things for us. Like she treats us as like her own kids. The world needs more of who these individuals are I think that a lot of times my students try to fit the mold and fit what other people want them to be. And I want them to know that they can be exactly who they were made to be. I think it's impacting them and future generations to, to have confidence in themselves and know that we fall down, but through those failures, we grow and learn from them. Sarah's best practice is engaging her students while building them up and having fun. Her creative academic songs grab their attention, enhance their learning, and create amazing results that will stick with her students for years to come. I became a teacher because I felt called to be a teacher. Um, from the earliest of memories, I just felt God calling me to be a teacher, but it's more than I could have ever dreamed 